Guys, welcome back to another session in Pavlov's Shack. So what we've got, all the weapons we like on Hell Let Loose, and we're going to go through them so you can see how they handle. In this game, of course, not in real life, not necessarily the same, but you can see how they've made it up in there. It's quite a realistic uh, game. They've put a lot of thought press into it, as you can see on the brain gun, all the markings on the side, even got the, the date and the uh, Enfield symbol. So what we've got now today is the German stuff. As you can see here, we've got a K98 bayonet, very nice, very sharp, much smaller than the World War One variant, which would be approximately a similar uh, length to the <coughs> go away to the uh, the P17 one, but that's this is for the shotgun. So it's similar length to that, and the Germans like to have a butcher-style blade on it, and they used to serrate the top, hence why they're called the butcher bayonets. But these, a nice little fighting knife. As you can see, the M1 Grand, it's not too dissimilar. Nice little fighting knife. And the Russian one, gross. I mean, look at that. That's leaving a bad wound as well. That's got all the cruciform and the little blood channels and fullers on there. So that's leaving a weird, odd shaped um, wound. So that's why those kind of bayonets and the cruciforms were outlawed later on. And if you look at our one, the British one, say no more, awful. So, further ado, we are going to look at the German weapons. From left to right we've got the G43, G43. so that's a 7.92 calibre semi-automatic rifle, probably brought out in answer to the SVT and the M1 Garand, and yet the M1A1 carbine etc from the Germans. We have the Germans main weapon which almost all German soldiers would have had or been trained to use, the K98K variant the carbine version world war one they had a much longer version as i say with a big long bayonet but this is the carbine version mouse a bolt very good very good bit of kit based off a hunting rifle originally hence why it hasn't got the um more simplified bolt but this is five rounds accurate weapon and as a sniper as i say even the um, moors in the gant would struggle to touch it so we've got the luger uh Beautiful weapon. I mean, well over engineered as much as the German stuff was. I mean, if you look at the, the Mauser pistol for the First World War, that is also well over engineered. But then they moved on something slightly better and slightly uh, more basic, which is the P38 you'll see on Hell Let Loose as well. At the top, STG 44 or the Sturmgewehr 44, the world's first uh, assault rifle. This fired a strange little 7.92 32 um, by 32 round I believe 30 round stick magazine see let's have a little look at the I wonder how I'll do this okay let's put that down for a minute hold it there open all right I'm going to crack hand it now so see the tip more or less the same just smaller round STG go away look at that that is a good bit of kit and if you actually think about it put a little bit of wood stock on there and a bit um, a bit more crude you got the AK-47 which the Russians copied obviously just after the war in 1947 Kalashnikov nice weapon oh I can't put it back another iconic mass produced excellent bit of kit 9mm Sch Schmeiser MP40 Excellent. I mean, look at it. It is what it is. It does what it says on the barrel. Accurate. Nice, steady state of fire. Mass produced. I believe this is, might be a 30 round 9mm stick mag. I have to confirm, so I'll get back to you on that. Bakelite sides. It's just a nice weapon. I mean, on the game, this is my favourite submachine gun. I mean, closely followed by the uh, Thompson. I mean, that thing can just go away can't hit a barn door with that the uh, PPSH 40, uh, 41 but the Schmeiser MP40 excellent steady nice rare fire doesn't get carried away here we have the uh, weapon that's known as Hitler's buzz saw um, we have 7.92 again a massive rate of fire that's why it's obviously got its iconic name we all know it on the game as the most awful thing if it's set up in the way and obviously you can hear it on the tanks and whatnot. This is a bad gun to get 
it's got a small little drum i believe 50 rounds and then would have um the much larger belts coming out of a ammo tin not too dissimilar to uh, we haven't got one but there will be an ammo tin and just feed out of it with your uh your second man on table got the smoke grenade we've all seen everyone use these too much open to smoke good i get confused in the game as well go away and we've got see the germans didn't have a frag grenade this was purely that a concussionist had a a massive explosion in the head and caused a that concussion wave and that's how it would do its damage whereas obviously you have the british uh, the british and american ones not too dissimilar to this this is the american frag but the mills bomb the british one very similar lots of little metal shards everyone gets a piece no one's left out throw it a bit like a baseball or cricket ball off it goes germans stick grenade it's got a stick handle and it would roll across and would uh carry it through the air so we'll go through the guns in a moment and also at the right we've got the panzer shrek the big brother to the panzer faust a very feared weapon amongst uh allied tank cruisers a very capable very capable tank killer this would do what it has to do massive shield on the front get you a good sight picture send it good range let's see what we got there you go nice rocket off it goes that's gonna do a lot of damage all right so let's go through the guns see how they fire might have to get one back because he's uh got a slight hole in his debris all right let's send him out to what we fire first g43 let's send him out to let's go 20. see i'm showing how bad i am in the game now because i can't hit a barn door anyway so g43 look at it beautiful 7.92 semi-automatic maybe a 20 round magazine as they're all nicely stacked up uh, maybe 10 to be fair it might be a 10 round magazine but look at it it's quite clearly the answer to the grand which we'll see in the next video or the svt the british didn't have a uh, semi-automatic rifle we never really adopted it. We like to conserve bullets, accurate shots. That's just what we do. So, let's see what it says. Nice. Straight in the head. Good shot. See, on the hell that loose, I can't stand this gun. Oh. Sometimes I am all shots on target, living the dream. The next minute, I can't hit. Sweet FA. Oh, you're going through my barrier on my uh, But as you can see on this, not too bad. Shots down range. And they also put a small scope on this, so a, uh, a marksman could use it as his uh, marksman weapon and uh, have the nice luxury of semi automatic fire. So this is the German sniper and obviously main weapon. It's got a nice scope on it. It's had loads of different scopes, so this is a a middle probably middle um range one don't want that but look at it very well made it's got a long mauser bolt that's going to whack you straight in the face unfortunately got the cut out for the uh bolt to down in so you don't pinch your finger a nice long sight which goes out to can't quite see but about 1800 yards and we've got the thing down there some some uh, variants like the one I've got at home has a shroud around the foresight and uh, allows you to focus in on that uh, sight picture much nicer but I do like this rifle and apparently it's quite powerful so if you hold it like this and with one hand it just disappears but anyway can I get it gosh nice so 10 meters center of mass not too bad let's send it out to 40 well, that's gone a long way now. I'll try center of mass. It might be the head. We'll see how we go. Might be a miss. Total miss. Absolute cack. 
Did I get it? No, I think that's a headshot. Let's have a look. Hmm. There you go. That's going to be a ping. nice shot with that K98. Love it. So now it's 20 again. So I think the next one we've got is the STG. And I've never actually used this either in, in the game. And I've only ever handled one ever because in the UK, uh, as a deactivated weapon, they are extraordinarily expensive and not very common. So we've got STG. That's the shroud I was talking about for the K98. You'd see that on the end and the same as the G43. We got the gas parts here. This iconically got quite hot. What's the barrels under there? So when you got a high rate of fire going down, it's odd. It's got a um, cocking, cocking handles on the left. So if you're right, it was strange. Normally you would in the British Army you cock over the top or you cock back to the middle. Um, obviously, look. Oh, that, that one's on the left as well. How odd. British ones on the right, right, all on the right. Even the, even the Russians. On the right, all that bloody things on the bottom. Look how odd. Anyway, it's got two types of fire. So look, yeah, two types of fire: automatic and single shot. I mean, it's ugly, but it's weirdly beautiful at the same time. So let's send some uh, target uh, rounds down range. On single shot. Oh, it's pulling to the right a little bit. A little, sorry. There you go. He's dead anyway. I'm a crap shot. We go automatic. So we can do. We'll put it aim for centre of mass. And it kicks up though. Wow, well, gets a good spin. It's hard to hold it back. That is. He's a dead man. But I'm not getting any. Uh, achievements for a tight grouping or a clean kill so let's bring him back or just kill me off bring him back nice and back out to 20 because we're going to go on to the schmeiser mp40 nine millimeter beautiful stick magazine there we go <laughs> nothing more to say about it really it is what it is does exactly what it says on the tin nice rate of fire I don't even think it's got a a selector switch. I think it's just always automatic. Let's see how we get on. I mean, on burst, we're getting some nice. Don't know, mask get a headshot. Or not. It's the issue with the VR, you can't always see down the sights properly, but we'll go. Better line now. But it's got a nice chug chug rate of fire. Not too bad. I do like it. And get one of them in my hands in real life if we should do, and we can show you um just about it. it can't obviously can't fire them in real life, deactivated, but we can do that. We've got a company that allows us to uh, have a look at theirs. So if you'd like to see them, let me know and I'll get a video. Or we could do it on live. You can ask me questions on the live. So, Luger. By the end of the war, this is pretty much gone. p 38 is in. Much more simple rifle. I mean, this is a crazy mechanism. Look at that. Look, that is odd. But, you replace the Mauser. Not a bad pistol. Semi-automatic in the game. I am a big fan. I love this pistol. Check that magazine. Another one in. Cocker. Center mass. Not a bad pistol. Let's count out the rounds. I've never actually looked. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight round magazine. How strange is that? That is an odd capacity. But I like it. I think it looks good. Japanese obviously copied it for the Nambu. But oh well. Uh, last but not least, we have the MG42 Huha's Buzzsaw. Can't say his name. Bad guy's Buzzsaw, that's what it's called. Just massive high capacity. Even the 30 cal is not matching this. This is a crazily um, fast weapon. And 
All I gotta show you is can't bloody control the shoulder. This is gonna have to be set up on a tripod. Sustained fire. I mean, they even balance on their shoulders, things like that. Man be on the floor, put that over the shoulder and fire away. Excellent weapon. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and comment. Anything you want to see, as I say, on the game and in real life. So let me know. We'll be streaming again shortly. Thank you.